just all in shock here. And uh, we're just kind of trying to find our normalcy again. Bewilderment and sorrow in this small Chilliwack mobile park where police tape has sectioned off a stretch of road after two people were found dead on Wednesday evening. Well, it's sad, it really is. I mean, two people dead and for what reason? RCMP were called to the neighborhood at about 7.45 p.m. after reports of gunfire. Melody Spedding watched out her window as Mounties confronted the suspect. He just walked slowly towards the police vehicles and um, he got down on all fours and crawled to the side of the police vehicle and uh, you know, I just watched them arrest him. On Friday, police identified the alleged shooter as 83-year-old Robert Freeman. The victims were also named 58-year-old John Kavaloff and 67-year-old Valerie Smith. Police hope the information will help advance the investigation, while many residents are left trying to piece together exactly what happened. I knew all the people involved, and they're all nice people. Um, I feel like they're all victims. It's a shame that um, some kind of altercation led to the violence. Some residents told CBC News there had been minor conflicts between the suspect and the victims involving their pets over the past few months. Police have released few details, but are calling the attack an isolated incident. I don't understand it. I can't put two and two together to come up with an answer. Pauline Smith says she knows the suspect well, but she's at a loss for words. He was laid back. He didn't drink. He didn't smoke. But he was out every day with people. So it's not that he hated people. Residents believe much of the incident was caught by this security camera next door to the victim's home. Police cleared out of the area by Friday afternoon, but said the investigation is ongoing. John Hernandez, CBC News, Chilliwack.